Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since I've posted a video and I thought I would contribute a little something towards St. Patrick's Day uh, since it's the beginning of March. Um, this is a uh, porch sign um, that says Happy St. Patrick's Day. And um, it is actually taken from or inspired by a real porch sign that I saw on Wayfair website. And so I took to um, designing my own. Uh, very much, It looks very much the same. And then I thought to make things even nicer, I would share the um, Cricut file with you, the SVG file, because I'm so happy. I'm just learning Inkscape um, and I'm learning to create uh, within Cricut, but then um, save it as an SVG file so I can share with you. This is something new to me and bear with me as I learn. Um, this file didn't start off looking like this. And by the time this is put together, it'll be tweaked even more. So this is kind of a, the beginning, <laughs> pretty simplistic. And then I went on to do this one. And I think you can tell that the second one is a little bit shorter because I felt even though this is kind of the proper height, this one, proper height for a real door sign, uh, I felt that it was still a little bit too scrawny and tall. And then I made it shorter. Uh, this one is going to be about the same height, but I've added some detail. Um, so we're going to learn how to put this together. Now I'll talk to you about um, some of the process that I went through to get there. Um, it is a learning process for me, and I thought, why not share my file? I'll be sharing it, um, the SVG for people who have uh, cut, cut machines, like a Cricut, Cricut Maker. Um, and also I'll share PDF if you care to be um, cutting out all these details. I'll also tell you about the paper, and uh, because you probably noticed that if I hold this one close to the camera here, that is paint. Uh, I, and, and you also see glue marks. <laughs> but anyway, that is painted because I didn't have all the different um, greens um, that my mind uh, was creating and uh, that I could create in uh, in, in the Cricut um, uh, design space or on Inkscape. So anyway, um, a lot more cleaning up that you'll see. And let's um, walk through the project. That's the first one, which is the taller one. And then this is the second one. And this will be the third. And believe me, this wasn't just the third. I probably about my seventh or eighth attempt to get to this. But it's my learning uh, process and uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, I do enjoy doing that. Anyway, what you'll need for this are these pieces, which will be um, cut on your machine. Or if you do not have a machine, then it would be you'll have the patterns to, to cut. Um, with your blade and um, some glue. And that's it, just paper and glue. A nice, easy project. So I start off with the base and because I wanted um, a beveled base, let me, let me this one, I wanted to show um, uh, this detail here, which is called beveling. Um, for that, I needed to join a few pieces together because this is only a 65 pound, um, cardstock. Now you could do this with um, craft board, which is 110, the Cricut craft board, 110 pounds. You can also get 110 pound cardstock, um, a little cheaper than the than the Cricut craft board. Or you can do it on a uh, chipboard, which is 1.5 millimeter. Um, but this was just done on cardstock because I thought most of us uh, would have cardstock. Um, and the other thing is that you don't really need all this variety of colors to do this. Um, you could just as easily um, print all those black ones in, in black cardstock and then all the other ones in white. And you could paint them, paint the colors that you wish before gluing it. I have three pieces of each one of these. This is the very bottom piece. And then, so I've already glued two together here. And now I'm going to glue on top of here. I do not use crazy glue. I am not a fan. Um, <laughs> I seem to get into trouble. It's great, but I seem to get into trouble with crazy. So that's one layer. And then the next three pieces, <laughs> the next three pieces will do as well. I do this because you probably find that I will have more glue on me than on the project. Kind of slippery. And number three, 
I guess I toggle between my hands. I, I try to use tweezers. I try to do the right thing, but I prefer my hand. You've seen some of my other videos, you know, you know what I mean. And I do, I do work a lot with the glue. But, so that's number two. And then the wee bit, the, the little ones. This is a new uh, situation I have here with this camera and filming in this room. Everything's changed. Still not finished tidying up and organizing. So this is a good um, way to forget organizing for a bit. So I'm going to take the biggest one and I'm going to <clears throat> layer and and you're going to layer uh, with the back side touching flash on the back and then you'll create a little step up. This black shows all of the um, white glue but it as you know it will dry. And so again, I flatten it to the bottom and center it on either side so that you get, you get flash on the back and then the little step up on here. Okay, and then you're going to do the same with the top one. The next thing you are going to work on um, Okay, let's do the St. Patrick's or um, the signs, happy. So again, there, there are three for each. I just felt that three was a good, um, a good thickness so that it gave it some body. So I will put some glue on here, mm -hmm. a second one. And this one is exactly the same, so there is no, um, you, you know, you don't have, it's exactly the same measurement, so it's just right on square. And this is the big one, yep. And that's going to go on top of there. There we go. So that is the top one. I'm going to go there. And then you're going to do the same with the happy. So basically, you're just gluing. Um, once you've cut it all, you just glue everything together. I'm not going to write up instructions for it because it's a pretty easy thing to do. If you just watch the video once, you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. And happy. Happy will go on here. And then the leaves or the, pardon me, the shamrock. So I did um, the yellow, the green, and the yellow on top. So again, now what you have to watch with this is that they do have a way that they will sit on top of each other. Because if you go, if you do it, if you turn it this way, the the stem will face one way. So they, they are all cut on the same uh, direction. So you have to do it, have to glue them this way so that the stems will line up. And that one will go on top of there. And then the word day <coughs> will go on top of the green. That's that. And we're going to do the same thing. Bottom one. Actually, this is this is the top one, but I just decided to change the color. Um, and I, uh, I, with these ones, I did paint the colors that I wanted. And this is why I'm saying, you know, if, if you don't want to fiddle around with changing all your mats um, every time there's a new color that's coming up, just um, this one was painted. You can tell it was painted. And when you put on a uh, Mod Podge on top, then can you tell I did that wrong? Because I can. <laughs> what I just did, don't do as I say, or do as I say, but don't do as I do. I um, 
put glue on the whole bottom and I should have put glue on this top one, right? We, we know that. So there it is. We're getting along there. Do the hat. Let's do the hat. So for the hat, we have two blacks and we have, this is the ribbon and we have a buck. All right, so one and two. So glue on one side. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I'm doing it um, here for the sake of speeding things up. Okay, and then we will glue on the pr proper side of the, uh, the one that's being applied is the one that's gonna get the glue. And, and so that's going to go on top and it's slightly bigger or the, the green one is slightly smaller than the back so that it, you have a little bit of dimension and highlight there. And now you're going to apply the, the band that's going to go um, on the hat like that. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much glue, but let's put that on here. And this will be the little buckle. Gold buckle. There you go. I'm going to apply it right about this is there. These two go together and become the the post that holds the whole thing in place. Or see am I doing it the right way? Stay. I developed a real love of making big projects with the Cricut. I started at Christmas time making gifts and cards and and then I thought, well, you know, I haven't done much with Cricut for miniatures. Uh, I did develop a few a few things, but I haven't made uh, SVG files um, that I can share. So that's that. And then you have the pot. The pot is interesting. There are a few pieces, again, for strength. And I will, first of all, glue the long piece about three eighths of an inch like so. And I'm going to glue it on the inside of this pot, just about three eighths of an inch. And then you're going to get another piece that's going to go on top of that. And it is simply to make it nice and clean. And it gives it a little bit more dimension like that. So it's nice and clean on both sides. And then the next one will go on top of that. There is no right side or wrong side, they're symmetrical. So you can simply just go ahead and glue it on. It's a cauldron or a pot, I'm not sure. And then before these two go on, this will be a ribbon, which is not on on these two, but I added on the final version. So I'm going to some glue on here, here just to hold it in place into the center. And I'm going to hold on, whoops. And I'm going to put it on here because the real one actually had a big bow. So I thought, oh, I should do this. And I don't think Wayfair will mind that I name drop. <laughs> I don't think that they're going to mind terribly. Um, if anything, you might want to go and check it out now because um, it's quite cute. If I had a house with a porch, I would, I would like to put this on the porch. <laughs> my, my miniature house is constantly Christmas. And now I have the little bow that's going to go on there. There, like that. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Oops. 
and I'm going to put it, can I face you like that? And I'm going to put it right there. The glue will dry and then obviously when we put Mod Podge on it, it will make it nice and shiny. There. And then <coughs> we have these. And again, you can see that I painted some of them. Um, this is the only one that I didn't paint. It was an actual color, which is the same as that one. And so I'm going to, let me see how I'm going to do that. Um, I've added layers after I built these. So now I'm just trying to decide how to do the layers. And I think I'm going to put these two together. You know, they're not all the same because this one, accounts for the hollow of the pot of the cauldron and so this one has the um the shape that rounds off for the pot now you sit there and glue now i'll go and put these over here that's these little guys here i went a little bit on the dark side here i put something a little bit brighter um hmm, let's see I'm going to see where I can put them that will look like they're coming out of the pot. So I'll put one, two. Oh, why don't I just do that? <laughs> there you go. And then I'm going to apply this one over here and put another bright one over on this side. Doesn't take much to glue these little stems down. Even dipping them on the glue a little bit would help over here. Shows black shows a lot so I would not worry about having all these colors and even though the SVG file will come with you know it does have a selection of colors you do not have to print uh, or cut the colors that you see on the file you can just use your own mats and even change the colors to um, agree with whatever your thought of this color scheme should be. <laughs> Philly. Okay, how about that? And then I'm sort of have leaving them leaving them not so flat. Like on this one I did them a little bit too flat. Um, I preferred this one when they were a little bit looser. I hope this goes up early enough that you can make some and put them on Instagram that I can see. I would love to see your rendition of it in your greens. And sometimes I feel like I'm not in center here. You can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're almost there. I'm going to use, I'm going to do the the platform at the very end and we're going to start off with the hat uh, plan it out so that you know where everything's going to go i've decided to do like a little slide and then i did this one and then i did this one and then the last one so how is that looking there we go that's how this one's going to go together, putting glue on here, probably about a quarter of an inch. Let the hat, tip the hat a little bit, go, and then I'm going to tip that sign. I'll be able to answer questions if you have questions on how, I don't know, some of you, there's a lot of people using Cricut out there, so um, probably a lot more knowledgeable on how I did this than, than I am. Um, and this definitely is not a uh, is not a tutorial on how to use Cricut. This is more of me wanting to share my file with you, share a project, and also my learning um, Cricut at the same time, where I've been able to create an SVG file and also be able to share it. Go straight up and down. Still a little bit wet, so you can move it about. This one I did with the yellow highlight. This one I did with the black highlight. Okay, so that's that one. And now, should really wait until it's all nice and dry. And I'm going to put the glue 
on the bottom. So now you actually have a little bit of a thickness, a couple millimeters of um, card stock. Put some glue on. You might want to use crazy glue, but I'm not that crazy about crazy glue. And okay, there you go. And I'm just going to center it, center it, not on the back, but center on the, oops, I actually dropped it. Hang on a second. Whoopsie daisy. Maybe I just use my fingers. I'm just going to center it here. It's kind of hard for you to see, I think, being that it's on the black. Now, once I put it on there, I am not going to move it at all, but I will that. So the difference, a little bit more tweaking, different colors, different process. The only thing left to do here, and when it's dry, I'm going to Mod Podge it, and I'm going to leave it. Okay, so here it is. All um, finished with Mod Podge. Uh, unfortunately, I used gloss Mod Podge. I didn't realize that's the one I was using, um, but it's good for a demo and uh, for the purpose of this video. Don't forget, you know, if you want something a little bit sturdier, you can use your um, craft board or, um, you know, um, heavier cardstock chipboard as well. 1.5 millimeter chipboard would be really good. And for the top bits, um, you can do that in paper and glue onto the chipboard if you want the, the colorful design. And don't forget, do it all in white and paint all your favorite colors on there. Um, in case you don't have all those greens for the highlight. Yeah, I could totally see that that gloss that <laughs> is not very nice. Not for me. I don't I don't like that gloss. Um, but anyway, here it is. And um, happy to share with you. Have a, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to um, check in often for updates or hit the, um, the notification bell. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, until next time, I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.